and entremet is a multi-layered mousse cake made out of different flavors, ingredients and use. Each layer has its own individuality and when it's been eaten together, it exhibits a variety of flavors that affects our taste buds. There is a great deal of artfulness required from making the mousse to making the glazing and garnishing. Our team has chosen to create a wedding theme on Roman. Nowadays, pastries are a standout among the most significant courses. A standout among the most memorable of a wedding is a cake. Our team is multicultural on the grounds that every one of us are from various nations, Sri Lanka, Maldives, Africa and Bangladesh. The main likeliness as a whole is our preference in food. After a lot of discussions and opinions from each other, we as a whole liked the flavor of coffee and along these lines settle on making an ornament depending on that. A coffee lover's green tends to be a tiramisu cake and the rustic vibes given from a tiramisu theme can be incorporated into a theme for a wedding. Our subject is gotten from these thoughts and in this manner is known as a classic fairy tale. Tiramisu is a top-notch food, modern and classic dessert like an entremet and a romantic wedding is a fairy tale. In our cake, there are seven layers. Starting from the bottom, we have a graham cracker layer with a prolonged sauce to give it a crunchy texture. Next, we have the mascarpone cheese mousse. Then, in between the coconut flour punch cake, we have the strawberry jelly, which is layered with thinly cut strawberries. Our next layer is the coffee and chocolate mousse topped off with our pastel pink glaze on top. Here, we are going to explain the textures in our entremet. The first layer is a granum cracker biscuit base with a packing mat sauce to give it that crunchy taste when you try our entremet. The second layer is a slightly heavier layer which is the mascarpone cheese mousse. The third layer is a soft coconut sponge cake. The fourth layer is the strawberry jelly layer which is covered with thinly cut strawberries on top. This gives the chewiness when you bite in our cake. Then again, we have our fifth layer, which is the coconut sponge cake again. The sixth layer in our entremet is the coffee and chocolate mousse, which will be lighter compared to our previous cheese mousse. This layer will also have pieces of chocolate inside. It's in contrast to the cheese layer which will be very smooth and soft. We want this layer of coffee and chocolate mousse to be dense compared to the cheese mousse layer. Finally, we have our seventh layer of the cake which is the sweet shining glaze which binds it together. We will be talking about the color combination in our entremet. When we see it from the outside, it will be a light pink pastel color. When it's cut, we can see seven layers. The first layer includes an ombre layer of brown and caramel. The second layer, we have a cream color from the cheese. The third layer is a peach which comes from the coconut cake. The fourth layer is red because of the strawberry jelly we use. The fifth layer is another peach layer due to the coconut sponge cake. The sixth layer is the dark brown from the coffee and chocolate mousse. The seventh layer is the last layer which is the pastel pink color which we see from the outside. In a traditional entremet, we have brown, white and cream colors but in our entremet, we have used a red color jelly layer on the inside and from the outside we have used a pastel pink color in order to go with our theme which is a classic fairy tale. Moving on to the illustration of our entremet. Our entremet is going to be circle shaped. We chose this shape because we feel like it best fits our theme and in addition to this we feel like circle shaped cakes are the easiest to cut into and once it's cut in 
then you can perfectly see all the different layers and the colors. Moving forward, the garnishes that we chose for our cake is simple. We're going to have a pastel pink glazing topped off with a white shining glazing as well. And the decorations we're going to have are strawberries, edible flowers, preferably white and pink, and a line of crushed nuts and chocolate pieces. The next thing is job delegation. So our pastry chef is Sajid Shabir, who is going to be making the praline base, the cheese and chocolate mousse, and who will also be pouring the glaze on top. Next is Suma Arif, our sous chef. She's going to be making the coffee and chocolate mousse, she's going to be preparing the garnishes, and she's going to be in charge of assembling the cake. Next is Raisa Martin, she's the Kamis chef. She's going to be making the sponge cake, she's, she is also going to be making the shining glazing. She's going to set up the table decoration and after she's done with all of her work, she will also assist other group members. Lastly, our second commerce chef is Mongala, Mubiana Berta. She's going to be making the jelly. After she's done with that, she's going to make sure that all the stations are clean and she's also going to be assisting Raisa with making the shining glazing. Our final product presentation represents a wedding theme table. And the following will be the table components. Goodie bags, snacks, fairy lights, flower vase and candle sets, wood and a white lace tablecloth. The interpretation is given to each of the components that will be on the table and it's as follows. The fairy lights are to enhance the wedding vibes. As we know, lights just create this bright uh, moment where everyone has a feel of warmth. And secondly, we have the flowers. The flowers that will match our pastel color glazing will be placed in a beautiful colorless vase. As we all know, flowers always give a cozy touch to every wedding. Wooden items will represent rustic vibes from the tiramisu background. We further have to add uh, a range of mouth-watering snacks and the snacks will be strawberry mouth marshmallows, chocolate dip, coffee shots and the coffee shots are simply to give uh, a wash down of your palate after having the dessert. The goodie bags will be a thank you as always traditionally done by every classic wedding to everybody that visits our table, that shall be their takeaway. The white lace tablecloth will be placed on our table to enhance the colors that are used in our cake. To wrap it all, all these goodies, the snacks, the fairy lights, the flower verse and candle sets, and our white less table cloth is just to give that unforgettable moment of a classic fairy tale theme that we have enhanced through our entry may